Welcome to the introductory video for Exhibit Master 2. Exhibit Master is an Acrobat PDF stamp for marking legal exhibits in the PDF format. It follows the same design pattern as exhibit stickers used on paper documents and other electronic exhibit stamps with one exception. Exhibit Master is highly configurable. It is not one design, but everything from a simple numbered exhibit to a complex multi-line stamp using different colors, fonts, text sizes, and text colors. Exhibit Master is also auto-incrementing. Every time it is applied, the exhibit number or letter advances, and the exhibit number can also include a prefix. It is a very flexible stamp that will work for a large variety of exhibit marking requirements. The Exhibit Master stamp works on both Acrobat Reader and Acrobat Professional. Some advanced features are not available in Reader, but for nearly all applications, both Reader and Professional operate the same way. So, how exactly does Exhibit Master work? Right now, you're looking at Acrobat Professional DC. I'm currently using the old Acrobat DC user interface. I find it much easier and more intuitive, and I'd strongly suggest that you do the same. When Exhibit Master is installed, it adds a few features to Acrobat. First, of course, is it adds the stamp under Exhibit Master, but it also adds two toolbar buttons and an action sequence. Action sequences, also called batch processing, are used to modify multiple documents at the same time. Notice that I've added the stamp menu and the Exhibit Master toolbar buttons to the quick bar for easy access. This is an Acrobat professional feature that is not available in Reader, but it's something you'd have to do after the installation, it's not done automatically. After installation, the Exhibit Master toolbars are on the Add-ons toolbar, which you'll find in the Tools listing at the very bottom. This is a sample stamp that displays the layout. It shows each of the parts of the Exhibit Master stamp that can be configured. There are six lines in total. The top and the bottom lines each have two parts. For the bottom line, the second part is the date with a format that can be configured. For all the parts, the text, the text font, the text size, the text color can be modified. These parameters are modified with the Exhibit Master Settings dialog, which is activated from this first Exhibit Master Toolbar button. It's not as complicated as it looks. Each line on the stamp corresponds to a section on the dialog. I'll move the dialog box over so that we can see it a little better. Let's take a look at the bottom section first. This is where the stamp border and background color are set. This drop-down is an alphabetical list of colors. When the color is selected, the RGB value is shown in this box here. The color itself is also shown on this swatch button. When clicked, displays a list of colors sorted by hue, which I find more useful than the alphabetical list. Each part of the stamp has a section on the dialog for entering text. I'll change the text on bottom line number three. Each section also has a button which displays a dialog for changing the font settings. I'll change the color. Of the bottom three lines, two of them are optional and can be turned on or off. The bottommost line is the one that includes the optional date. It can be turned on or off and the date format set to just about anything. One of the most important parameters in the dialog is the exhibit number. It can be set up to auto increment, which is what we'll do, or it can be set to a custom entry, which displays a pop-up dialog when the stamp is applied so that the user can enter a custom ID. In this case, I want the ID to be prefixed with ABC colon, followed by a three-digit number prefixed with zeros, and we'll start the numbering at two. Let's try it out. There, with the custom values that we set. I'll apply it again so that you can see the exhibit number change. Now let's take a look at one last item on the configuration dialog, which is the template section at the very top of the dialog. A template is just a named set of settings. Exhibit Master comes with a large set of samples that you can modify for your own use or you can create your own templates. The second Exhibit Master Tool button displays a drop-down menu of helper tools. Tools for copying exhibits to different pages or to different documents, for flattening the exhibits, 
This feature is not available on Reader. On Reader, it's replaced with a locking tool, some helper tools to deal with already flattened exhibits, and a helper tool for the action, which is used to apply stamps to multiple documents. And last of all, a couple of administrative tools. This one's very important. It allows you to deactivate Exhibit Master on the current machine so that it can be reactivated on a different computer. Exhibit Master can be installed on as many computers as you want, but it can only be active on one of those computers at a time. That concludes our introduction to the Exhibit Master Legal Exhibit Stamp. It's sold as a standalone product with a perpetual single user license, and you can purchase it at our website, pdfscripting.com. Thank you.